The River Watch Water Quality Monitoring Program is a volunteer-powered effort to monitor trends in the health of the Ipswich River and its tributaries. The program began in 1997 in response to problems in the river caused by low flows. The Ipswich River is an important water supply for 350,000 people in 14 communities. But too much water is allowed to be pumped so that during most summers there is not enough flowing water for fish and other aquatic life. Low flows and dry river episodes have caused fish kills and led to the Ipswich River being declared one of the most endangered rivers in the country. There have been some improvements, but sections of the river and streams that feed it become dangerously low or dry up completely. Once each month, a team of volunteer monitors tests the water at 32 sites covering most of the river in major tributaries. I've been monitoring now for about three years. I started in the spring of 2013 and I got involved because I moved to a neighborhood that backs up on the river and I also had a friend who was in her 80s who had been doing it for many years, Barbara Osberg, and she retired about that time from doing it and it just seemed like a natural thing since I was so close by. I enjoy feeling like I can do something um, of use in the town that has a greater impact on the future by looking after the river and what I've gotten out of it most recently is a sense of really how dramatically low the river is and how very dangerous the situation is. Volunteers collect a water sample to measure dissolved oxygen, temperature and conductivity. Cool flowing water with plenty of oxygen is needed for many types of fish and other creatures that should be found in a healthy river. Water heats up during low flows and oxygen levels fall below what is considered safe for a healthy river ecosystem. Conductivity in chlorides measure how much dissolved substances are washing into the river from the surrounding area, especially road salts. High conductivity in chloride levels have a negative impact on river health. Volunteers also sample aquatic macroinvertebrates each year to know how healthy the river is based on how many and what types of organisms we find. Aquatic macroinvertebrates are bugs that spend part or all of their life cycle in the river and certain types are more sensitive to changes in water quality. The data volunteers collect can show trends in improvements or decline. Stoneflies are sensitive and need clean, flowing water with good oxygen levels. Having many different types of aquatic macroinvertebrates is necessary for a healthy river since river fish depend on these organisms for food. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many volunteers over the years, we have a better understanding of the challenges facing the river. We know that there are extended periods where there is too little oxygen in many sections of the river for many types of river fish to survive and that there is a lack of abundance and diversity of aquatic macroinvertebrates to support a healthy food web. There are also some good areas, so we need to protect what we can and work to improve troubled areas. The River Watch program has been a great success thanks to the hard work and dedication of so many volunteers. Having so many people care about the health of the Ipswich River is vital to our mission, and we welcome new volunteers to the program and will try to match your interests with our needs.